I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells on the level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, man. You, you've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back, Zaymor, and I'm back, Control. <laughs> Control. Find the Prime Candidate Program Containment Prime Candidate Program. Okay, so our mission is the Prime ca is to go to the Prime Candidate Program. Lots of interesting data off that subject. Okay, hey, you've been staying there a lot. What's on your mind? Tell me. Oh, I don't know who you are. Well, you were wearing HRA, but still you're like that. What happened to you? Is some kind of stress or what? Yo, what's up, yo? Name is Amor, and you guys just chilling around here. How are you doing? You guys not doing anything? Ooh, there's a doctor. Wait, let's read it first. Yeah, this is the one. Pause if you want to read, guys. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. <laughs> Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. <laughs> Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Well, that's weird. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Don't get sloppy out there. No one cares. Okay, so Marsha, you're a little weird and you're a little, you know. Guys, answer me. If you're the head of the, you know, police, would you do weird stuff also? Oh no, I can smell enemies, but don't worry, we have the levitate. Oh no! Yo! Oh shots! Oh, that scared him for a bit. Where are you? Too bad! You're down! Jimbo? 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 Haha! Uh, I think I'm overpowered now guys because... I have the ability to float. 
Remember Emily? Emily? Is it Emily? Yeah. Oh shot. Hey yo 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 yo. Who are you here? Turn it to his? You are guided previously, then turn it to his. Ooh, self-reflection, another mission. August 4th, 1964, we discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. <laughs> Weird hotline. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends and disappointments. Then P6, Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents, they're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now, and the Prime Candidates are our future. There are two, P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. P6 is Dylan, so P7, I think it's Jesse. Oh! You're not... You're not... Please be Jimbo and aid me, aid me in this battle, aid me, aid me, aid me! What? 
Oh, why is it slanted? What what kind of view is this? What kind of yo yo? You're really not welcome here, no. Well, thank you, thank you for all of you who died. Oh, it's new. I thought it's the same. Look at that! Look at that, guys! Eat that! A creepy! Look at that! I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? Your face is what's wrong. <laughs> I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. And you love brains. Mm-mm, munch munch. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! What's wrong with you, Mr. Bones? So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people. Or make friends blind. <laughs> Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> What if I don't want the big chair? No interruptions! What if I don't want the big chair? <laughs> Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! Well, That's wrong. why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Oh, you're creepy. You manipulate, manipulative piece of doll. B6. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. You've said it. Oh! Finding the projector will. What now, ordinary. darling? so much coming together in this one case uh, a new object of power something we have not seen before i mean coming from me that's that's saying something and the boy dylan faden prime candidate six and the sister as well by well, once we catch up with her but the, the boy that's so much potential we're talking northmore level readings here and, and i don't want to invoke his name but it's completely different circumstances here it's remarkable there was an incident yes no what Lost a valuable member of our team, yes. To the ranch. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. Oh. But he's he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. 
He's Wait. exceptional and under a lot of stress. What are you pertaining to, man? Just make it clear. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. You're a dead boy now. We will make this work. We'll make this work. No, no. I don't trust you. Darling, I think you're the head. You're the cause of all of this. Yeah. So this is my room. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Oh, I have a new outfit. How convenient. Jesse, I think you're an experiment. Oh, look at that. That's your picture. Oh my gosh. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Look at that. Look at that guys. Let's just take a moment to look at this. Clues, come on, come on, come on, give me more. What's we used this? to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this, nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, Escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Hold up! Why did I have this tape? Why? And why are you talking to a psychiatrist? Hey Jesse, look at look at me. Look at you look at me. Why are you talking to a psychiatrist? Do you are you crazy or what? Shucks. Let's bring it on, baby boys.
I'm aiming so bad now. I don't know why. We used to play there all the time. Yeah, we already we listened to that, so we won't listen to it anymore. Look at that, guys! Look at that! Look at that face! It's full of red, and I don't like it. Oh, shucks! What the? Stop doing that! Give me power, Son Goku. I need to be Super Saiyan again. What do you think? I'm gonna up, 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 up. You're not welcome. I'm gonna be serious for a moment, guys. Jimbo, hit him hard. Be with me, Jimbo. I want this one now, Jimbo, too. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, you stop. <laughs> Please, no boss, no boss, no boss, no boss. Yes. We're going back home. Of course we are. I think it started there and it's never gone away. I think I'm near to the end of this game. I I, I don't know. People from the universe recognize Jesse because Jesse. Oh, I need to press this button. Yeah, got it. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Are you kidding me right now? Oh yeah, got it. Okay, so what now? Are we gonna fight someone here? I think something will happen, guys. If you're playing a horror game, suspense game, silence. Oh shot! Silence is order. What? 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 You fool! You freak! You scared the crap out of me, then you'll die. Silence is over! Uh -huh. You come here often? Can I? No one cares. The first light was the room with dirt. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years shining a light in the shadows. No one cares. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident, but this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town, and it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said, but that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The this same a joke. thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. 
The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. No one cares. Oh, this is what we're talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm right. I'm right. There is a curious. Wait, 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 wait. There is. Thanks. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Or die trying. I tried to. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. Oh. I learned. I... Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. <laughs> a cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. What? Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck <laughs> you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... We want to read. So we need to look for the object of power slide projector. But it won't be easy, I should say. Boss. You know what? Um, all of this document 
I don't remember everything about it so help me guys if I could miss anything or what miss anything or so who oh, knows all I know is that there is something waiting for me see what they have on ordinary not good it's all here our home our school the woods the dump Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you saying that they live here? Or the exact place the ordinary is the property of the bureau? And the whole village is for experimental purposes? Are you kidding me right now, darling and trench? Stop! We need the energy recovery by shooting. You're a harmless little dude or big dude, but those. Doesn't know anything but the throw grenade. <laughs> You're the most easy one here. You won't fight. You're gonna die, boy. We I'm found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? I don't no matter. It <laughs> suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's... this... I feel... In emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No! Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Yes. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In. A dream I saw, she, she showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Wait. Wait, what? Jesse and Dylan is not well? They need psychiatrists? Don't they have friends? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what's the... 
situation before to Jesse and Dylan um they are not in the bureau before that so I, I was wrong earlier the ordinary I think it's not the property of the bureau I think they studied about the ordinary and they did some you know experiments in that village and stuff that's why there are things happening that are not explainable by the mere people around us please be nice I'm just Jesse and I want some answers so this is the dump I knew it they moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable yeah Oh, okay, whatever. Let's just get it. Oop, something in the multimedia. I think that's the interview. Yeah. You? We already listened to it. Ooh! Come on out, don't be shy. There's a lot and come on man. Come on, you know, one likes you. Man, this is hard man. Man, it's hard to hit you, then you have a shield. Those man, good thing I survived there. So close. I mean, <sighs> we didn't die, dude. We didn't die, man. Is this it? I think this is it. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Okay, guys. I think I've done it. And uh, yep, thank you guys for watching. So Ordinary was part of the experiment. It was called by Darling Sight. So it's a sight, something like that. I don't know. So yeah, our next destination is the projector. I right, see you on the next episode. Don't, don't subscribe. <laughs> Ciao.